I would say no, not yet. It's, it's too early. Um, oil inventories are still extremely full. We actually think that in May, um, oil inventories are still building. So the market isn't quite yet back in balance. Um, and the price rise is a little bit preemptive. And yet, having said that, we've seen enormous destruction of shale production. And you'll know far better than I do, Spencer, that a lot of people believe, regardless of what they say, that Russia and especially the Saudi strategy was to inflict a very, very serious wound on the upstart that is U.S. shale, the upstart that is non-OPEC production as well. And Karen was quite rightly asking the question, will we see a production increase because of this increase in price? I have my doubts, but you're the expert. When you say production increase, you're talking about from the United States. Yeah, yeah, from the United States, i.e. we're coming to a level where uh, the shale production has come off aggressively. The oil price has rallied to $32 on the front month WTI as well. Is that enough to, for people to start any form of uh, production upstart or actually will they remain shuttered in for a long time? Well, we, we think they'll stay shut, shut in for a, a while yet. You know, we expect um, U.S. production to be... Um, two to three million barrels per day um, lower at the end of 2020 than it was at the end of 2019. Um, more than a billion barrels of oil have been put into storage. So, you know, the, the market is, is still, you know, very oversupplied and we think price, you know, won't go above 44 for a couple of months.